so welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel for today's video i will be doing a weekly reading vlog so if you want to know how my week goes then just keep on watching to see what Polly reads so today is actually friday and it is already 9 25 p.m and my work starts at 9 30 so i'm kind of running late already so i'm just gonna go set up my tools and i will talk to you guys again later update time so it's already 8 a.m my work finished at 6 30 a.m and i just edited my january tbr and i'm already done it is already rendering right now and now i am organizing my notion page specifically the book giveaways that i'm currently having on twitter right now one eternity later hey guys happy saturday it is already almost midnight my family and i just bonded over some food today and it was such a fun day we had some cubesal and yeah we just had a fun time the whole day and that's why i wasn't really able to vlog because i just want to spend the rest of the day with my family and before i go to sleep tonight i want to read more of a vintage love by agalianera which is actually on my january tbr and if you haven't watched my january tbr yet i will leave a card here and i will leave the link down below and i am almost halfway through this book i'm on page 88 so i'm hoping to finish this if not tonight then maybe tomorrow morning the next day so i just finished journaling and manifesting and now i just want to share with you a book that has recently been received in the mail and that is a mindful year by a Dr. Arya Campbell Danesh and Dr. Seth Gillihan. Now, this book is about 365 ways to find connection and the secret in everyday life. This came much later into the year already, but I would still like to go through January 1 and make some reflections on it so every day there is actually a part where you can reflect and be mindful and they call it the invitation so i'm just going to uh, do the invitation or like the reflection part on my notion page look at me being resourceful because i don't have a paper clip a few moments later hey guys update time it is already 11 16 p.m and i'm still awake it was such a busy day for me i helped my nephews with their modules and then i also had to go to the bookshop earlier to buy a printer because my nephews really need one right now for their performance tasks and now i am just trying to draft two blog posts that needs to be up this uh, coming week the next day it's already monday night i didn't vlog the whole day because i really wasn't feeling that well so i just rested the whole day and now i have to get to work in a few minutes even if i'm not feeling well um it's just that the company is really strict right now so if i want to have some rest if i'm not feeling really well I would have to secure for a medical certificate but I didn't really feel like going out today to secure that medical certificate so no choice but I have to 
just get to work even if my headache is so terrible right now oh and by the way i actually forgot to tell you yesterday that i was able to finish reading vintage love by aga Elianera and i gave it three out of five stars i think the story is just okay the writing style is just okay nothing really special but it's enjoyable so three out of five stars and hopefully later during my break time or maybe tomorrow morning after my work i'll be able to start reading a new book i'm thinking of reading educated by tara westover and i don't really know what to expect from this book so let's just see how it goes it's already tuesday night and i started reading educated by tara westover and i can say that so far i am really liking the narration or the writing style of tara and i can't wait to read more of it on the other hand i would like to inform y'all that i will be participating in the read your bookshelf a thon or the read set hosted by life of miranda i will leave the announcement video link down below and meanwhile while y'all are waiting for my ribset vlog make sure to watch my other videos right here that's my january tbr and don't forget to leave a comment down below on any readathon that you would like to participate in in the future or if you're participating in one right now i will see you guys next week take care always bye